Hi there, welcome to Tech Cup B. We have different video file formats like MKV, FLV, MP4, and AVI. Wait a minute, they are not called video file formats. We're calling them with the wrong term. Before I start explaining, I request you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our future updates. All these MP4, FLV, AVI, and MKV are all called containers. They are not called video formats. Typically, these containers contain codecs. A codec is called coder decoder or compressor decompressor. We have two types of codecs, hardware codec and software codec. A hardware codec converts analog signal into digital signal of zeros and ones which a digital device can understand. And then it turns back this digital signal into analog signal in terms of output which we enjoy as audio or video. And the other one we have is software codec. It takes multimedia as input and turns them into a format which a container can interpret. But why do we need a codec? For example, take a video shot on your DSLR camera. Take as a raw format. Even a 1 minute raw video will be of gigabytes in size. Imagine loading this gigabyte size of video into your player or watching it on online. It puts a lot of load on your CPU and consumes gigabytes of your internet data. That's why we need codecs. They use different compression algorithms which reduces the file size but maintains the video or audio quality as it is. Let us look at the different containers we have. AVI, Audio Video Interlaced, which was developed by Microsoft in the year 1992. It supports audio track, video track, but it doesn't support subtitles or chapter navigation. Number two, we have MKV, Matroska Video Container. It was developed in the year 2002 and it supports audio track, video track, subtitles track and chapters navigation. That is why it is ideal for DVD industry. Number 3 we have is MP4, MPEG-4 version 3 which was introduced in 2003. Initially it was a quick time player format, later it got evolved. It is a popularly recommended video container for online streaming like YouTube and Vimeo. Lastly we have FLV, flash video. Back in those days when we have flash support in web browsers, FLV is the most widely used video format on the internet. But these days most of the browser ended support to flash because it's taking a lot of time to load than typical HTML. That's why these days most of the people are not using FLV. And let's look at the codecs we have. WMV, Windows Media Video which was introduced by Microsoft in 1992. It was the most widely accepted Windows Media codec. But it's only supported by containers like AVI and MKV. Number 2. XVID. It was introduced in 2002 in competition to DivX. It can downsize a DVD size video file into CD size. This codec is widely accepted by any container. Number 3. .264. It was introduced in 2003 in view of online streaming. It uses better compression algorithms and reduces the file size in such a way that you can easily upload these files to internet for online streaming. That's why .264 is widely accepted video codec for YouTube and Vimeo. Number 4. .265 It was introduced in 2013 as a next version to .264. It reduced the video file size even smaller than .264. It is not widely used yet and is not supported by most of the containers yet. If you are looking for a player which can support all video containers and codecs, then I would recommend you VLC player or WMP classic player. That's all folks, I hope now you know different video containers and codecs. I hope you enjoyed watching our video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to receive the notifications of our future videos. Talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.